Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. An Ohio man who was radicalized in the U.S. has been nabbed by the FBI for reportedly planning to plant a bomb during 4th of July celebrations in Cleveland and then stand nearby and, quote, watch it go off, close quote. Demetrius Pitts, a 48-year-old man who expressed allegiance to Al-Qaeda, was arrested on Sunday after a meeting with an undercover FBI agent whom Pitts believed to be an Al-Qaeda sympathizer. Pitts, who lives in the Cleveland suburb of Maple Heights, told the agent that he planned to plant the bomb at a July 4th parade while also targeting other locations in Cleveland and Philadelphia. The holiday fireworks, the man reasoned, would provide good cover for the attack. The undercover agent who nabbed Pitts helped him pick locations that would have been near multiple U.S. government buildings. Now, Pitts told his would-be accomplice that he wanted to be downtown when the bombs exploded so he could watch the chaos unfold. And in a sickening twist to this plot, uh, Pitts raised the idea of giving the children of military personnel remote control cars packed with explosives, turning them into unwitting accomplices. Now, Pitts was charged with attempting to provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization and is facing up to 20 years in prison. Now, what uh, I find kind of peculiar and maybe unnerving, or maybe I'm not understanding this right, folks, is the undercover agent who nabbed Pitts helped him pick locations that would have been near multiple U.S. government buildings. I don't know why I find that troubling, but uh, either way, uh, it looks like this plot was, uh, was foiled, and let's hope and pray that all is well and safe over the uh, 4th of July holiday. I'll leave you a link to this. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it if you feel so led to. And artificial intelligence, weird weather, pestilence, spiritual warfare, politics, gun control, and more. It's all in my must-read book, Light, A Wayfarer Story. Available in Kindle and paperback and linked below. It's fiction. Or is it? Check it out. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.